I have a, a personal issue. Should be here tomorrow. What, what, what were the early signs back on Kenny? Uh, probably one to two weeks. Yeah, one to two weeks. Just got hit by one of his teammates in the knees, so he, he should be back maybe even, you know, I, 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 one to two weeks. Hopefully, like hopefully. Right. Got some good news where he's yeah, back. absolutely. Yeah. Right, right away they thought it was, you know, wasn't one of the bad, really bad ones, but still it was a chance. So I know Kenny and we got that back. He was feeling good. So. We haven't talked to you since you looked at the tape of the game the other night. What did you see there that you may not have seen um, in person and some of those things you might have been working on today? Uh, you know, I think um, in the run game, um, we had a, we left a lot of yards out there, a lot of a lot of a lot of opportunities for bigger plays. So we're just just working on some details of some things um, defensively. Our blitz package, you know, a lot of it was the young guys, but just trying to really detail that out. And uh, special teams wise, obviously, you know, um, we haven't blocked a kick yet on our field goal block team and teams, and we're 50 percent, you know, kicking. So. Um, there's a lot of areas to improve upon, but th that being said, there were some really good things in the game, some really good efforts. Um, just trying to, just trying to make it a little more consistent. Is this the part of camp where you're starting to kind of phase out the twos and get most of the reps for the ones? No, no, no. This is kind of like a hybrid, like training camp slash season. But even in the season, you know, the twos, you know, they'll get reps versus the ones. So we'll, we'll continue to, to develop all the way through next week, and then. Um, after that end of camp break, we'll, we'll really focus on the Jets. Any plans on bringing in some competition for Joey? Uh, yeah, I, I really no comments on personnel right now. Uh, we have to you know, we have to make some roster roster cut uh, roster cuts by tomorrow. So you'll, you'll see some roster moves tomorrow. Uh, just uh, I don't even say a vet day. Just you know a little sore after the game. So just uh, tried to get him moving around in the pool today, just to see if he was. Um, see if, make sure he's ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a padded day, a good work day. So, Matt, what's the balance of uh, putting Christian out there on Friday night? Do you think he'll go with Sam Darnold or some of the other starters? Yeah, no, Sam, uh, Christian won't. Um, Christian will be very, very limited as he has been mo pretty much every preseason. I mean, he's he's going to take a lot of hits during the season, uh, more than anyone else out there on the field. So, you know, we'll, we'll save those hits for the season for Christian. Coach, the team won't travel to an away game until September 23 to Houston. How important is to stay home for the next month and maybe establish a good routine as we go? Um, you know, it's always nice uh, being at home. Uh, it was great to be in front of the crowd the other night. So um, having the opportunity to play the next three games at home will be something that you know our family and friends and fans will all enjoy. Um, that being said, once the time comes to go on the road, hopefully we'll – have a, a mindset where we're kind of all in it together, where we're collectively ready to go attack things and you know bunker down together. But um, we're uh, we're excited to be at home this Friday night. Now, when you stay limited with Christian, could it be like let's just play him on September 12th? It could be. Yeah. From a logistical standpoint, Matt, I mean, you went from practicing mornings during training camp to afternoons now. I mean, what's the reason for the change in schedule? Uh, this is more like our in-season schedule, you know, at Wofford, um, uh, you know, we were under some, you know, when you're trying to get the most out of the day, the, the, C, the new CBA only allows for 11 hours. And so um, if you meet first and then try to practice, the guys need about an hour to get ready for practice, you lose an hour. If you just practiced first, you gained an hour. You gained, you gained that time because it didn't count against us. So it was just a way for us to really take the most advantage of the day. And that Wofford heat, you know, trying to keep the heat down, though it's not, it's not cool out here today. I noticed you guys were all under that tree. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get more into more. This is like a hybrid in-season schedule where we'll, we'll have them longer. And then um, starting next week and really the week after, we'll be in, into our true in-season schedule. Uh, but for me to feel comfortable, he just has to make the kicks. And I think for him, he has to just take the what he does in practice and take it to the game, you know. So um, um, to detail that out, I mean, I think that's that's for him. That's for him, right? But uh, he can certainly do it. It's just a matter of doing it, you know, when the games come on. So he'll, he'll have another opportunity Friday night to go out there and show what he can do. Matt, you have an idea how much Sam would play then? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really not pre prepared to say much more than my hope is that it's – my hope is that it's, you know, more than a quarter, certainly closer to a half. Um, you know, I always hate saying those things and then things happen during the week. So but my, my preference would be that our ones would play a good half of football. Um, we'll, we'll see, you know, who exactly that is, who each person is um, as we get closer to the week. 
How would you rest the quarterback behind center? I'm not, yeah, I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, you know, uh, I thought PJ was really good in the first game. I thought Will came in was good this game. So the good news is they're, it's a both a healthy, you know, a healthy thing. Um, so we'll um, we'll go through this week and just kind of try to make some decisions as best we can, you know. But I'm trying to give those guys every every day I can to to give them as many reps as possible. What have you been able to evaluate with the battle of long snappers? Um, it's a good question. You know, JG obviously uh, has been doing it for a long time. Um, you know, I think he's had a renewed sense of you know everything this year, and uh, Fletch obviously has a lot of talent. You know, just getting used to the having a block at, at this level is you know there's a, there's a learning curve. So um, you know, this last game will probably be important in, in that decision making process. Is there a pressure to keep both, or is that an option? Or is it... I, I feel no pressure other than just to do what's right for the Panthers. So uh, we haven't even really gotten into that conversation yet. I mean, we we know we have time. So. For me to sit here and right now and be talking about 53 cuts is hard. You know, it's really just about what we're, we have to make five decisions tomorrow. And I take I don't take those lightly. Like you know, when you're talking about a player's career, I think about it a lot. So and Scott thinks about it a lot. So we're really just trying to focus on tomorrow. You know, for right now, and then um, a lot will happen between now and by the time we have to make those decisions.